Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome to the next assignment, assignment number two. And in this assignment, we are going to work on Facebook website. So if you have seen a Facebook uh, homepage, it has a sign up form, right? So let's complete the sign up of Facebook. So uh, it has one more extra step before we do sign up. Let's see what uh, steps are mentioned. So the steps are first, you have to open a Chrome browser. Then we have to navigate to facebook.com and then we have to verify that once we uh, navigate to fb.com, it redirects us to facebook.com. Okay. So we can use else if condition to pass or fail for now. And if you know uh, test ng, then you can use assert, uh, assert methods from test ng or JUnit. Now, next is verify that there is a uh, there is a create an account section on the page then fill in the uh, text box like enter the details first name surname mobile number email address enter the uh, re-enter the mobile number or uh, email id and new password then update the date of birth in the drop down and select gender click on create an account and then verify that account is created successfully right so uh, I'll open the Facebook in an incognito mode. So let's first do this whole thing manually. So let's say I say fb.com. So you can see when I'm passing fb.com, it is redirecting me to facebook.com. Right? So let's do this as the first step. So here I've already created a class with name uh, Facebook sign up then we have first initialized the chrome driver then we are uh, we have defined an url called fb.com right and then i'm going to invoke the browser so in invoke browser uh, first we are setting up the path invoking the browser then i have also added a page load timeout so this uh, we are going to cover in future classes. I have not yet covered it. Just uh, added it. I was copy pasting from some other code. So I have added it. Let it be there. It is page load timeout. It's the maximum time for which the page waits for uh, it to load. I'll be uh, covering it in a couple of more uh, sessions. So first we are maximizing the window and then we are navigating to the URL. Okay. So uh, I can also add a step to uh, delete all cookies. Right? Now, uh, before we do sign up here, uh, first we will check whether we are redirected to facebook.com or not. So for that, I'll create one variable here, string uh, URL from web page. Okay, so this is one variable I've created and I'll call the method get current URL, right? And then we'll put a condition here that if URL from the web page dot equals equals what the Facebook page. So I'll copy this from here and paste it here. Then mark the test case as pass so i'll say sys system dot out dot println and you can mark this test case as pass else system dot out dot println mark the test case as here as fail okay so this is a step which is this one right now after that, it is saying verify that there is an uh, create an account section on the page. So here you can see there is a create an account section, right? So let's verify this. So to verify this, here you can see it comes under a span, which says create an account. So I'll uh, write its locator or you can use uh, uh, Crow path also to get its locator, but I guess crow path does not work in an incognito mode. So it's not showing, I, I believe. Yeah, so let's write it manually. 
so you can visit the xpath uh, tutorials to understand uh, how i'm writing this xpath okay so here i'll say uh, it's a span which has some text so i can simply say double slash span and give me an element which has this text equal to create an account okay so you can see it is giving me one locator that means there is only one locator or one web element on this page which has this text right so i'll go back here and in the sign up i'll say uh, first of all i'll define one web element let's say web element is uh, create account heading right so how will you get this on my browser i'll find the element by an xpath and the value of xpath is or a value of xpath expression is i just copied right so this is the web element now uh, what method will you use to see if this exists or not so for that i'll say if create account heading is displayed then mark my test case as pass okay so what is this is displayed method is displayed as a method from selenium it returns you a uh, i mean it's a boolean method which returns you to see here it's a boolean method it returns you true if the element on which you are applying this method is visible on the screen if not then it will return false right so here i have marked it as pass else i can say mark it a fail so again i am not using any assert statement here why because we have not yet covered it so if you guys have a, uh, if you know about the assert then just use the assert statements okay so we are done with this step also now we are going to fill in the form right so uh, let's see what we have for the sign up form so we have first name surname mobile number new password and then these details so if you see the first name it has name equal to first name right so i can use here driver dot find element by dot name as the locator and then i can pass the first name and what i want to do with it i want to pass test data so let's say test user is the name of the user right so let me uh, keep the first name as test and we will keep the last name as user so if i search for surname here you can see uh, here what what unique we have we have name as last name right so i can use this and i can keep the last name as uh, user then i need to enter the email id okay so here you can see i have what i have unique i have this id equal to u underscore zero underscore r as unique value do we have anything else or we can we can also use this name equal to reg underscore email underscore right so i'll copy this one more time let me add one more time so here i'll copy this once more and here so i can say test user at abc.com right this user as abc.com then i'll enter the password so password uh, let's see what we have we have again the name attribute as unique right so i can pass some test password all right and after that we have to fill up this uh, drop downs so when i check this drop down you can see this drop down has one id equal to day right so i can identify this element as so uh, as uh, using an uh, id attribute so i'll define three web elements here web element uh, first one is 
date date element right which can be identified by an id and the value of id is and the value of id is day itself right so i'll pass day this is my first web element oh, sorry so i'll copy it and paste it two more times we'll change this date to month and this element to year right so uh, date element month element and year element now day we uh, saw that it selected with day then we have month so i'll use the id month for month and then uh, the last one which is year so i'll use the attribute year for that so this way we got all the three uh, web elements now since they are a drop down to select or to select a value from those drop down what we need we need instance of select class right so i'll say select day or date drop down right so we can say equal to new select and then i'll pass this date element here right so like this i'm going to define it three times again so one is a month so here it will be month and then we have year so we'll select year here it will be month element and here it will be year element then i need to select the date so i'll say date drop down dot select value by visible text so let's say the date i'm selecting is 21st then month drop down dot select via visible text let's see what we have for visible text we have um, months selected in uh, in jan feb like this so let me select any one value let's say june and then i'm going to select the year so i'll say year drop down dot select via visible text and here i can pass the year 1989 right so once this is done then i have to select the male female radio button so let's see what we have for that so um, here you can see we have input type is radio name is uh, six for all i believe so if i see any other uh, radio button yeah so this also has name equal to six that means we cannot use that so what we can use we can use another attribute called value how i can say uh, double slash input where um, type is radio so you can see you will get uh, you will get uh, three elements now and another attribute called value equal to 1 2 3 depending upon what you want so let's say i use 2 so 2 gives me me copy it go back here and here i'll say driver dot find element by dot uh, x path and the value of x path is this okay so i hope you uh, understand how i have written this xpath if not then you can revisit all the uh, xpath tut uh, tutorials right so i have added this now next step is i'll click on the button so the button is sign up button so here you can see it's of type button which has this text sign up right so can i use this double slash input uh, text equal to sign up it's not input it's rather button 
Yeah, so you're getting, we're getting two elements uh, for this. I guess there are two sign up buttons on this page. I don't know where the other one is, but let's see what else we have uniquely. Okay, so there is one attribute called name equal to web submit. In fact, we can use that. Okay, so no need to use the this. So you can simply use web submit. Okay, so here I can say driver dot find element by dot uh, uh, name and the value of name is web submit. And what I want to do with this is click. So this will click on submit button. Okay. Now, uh, since I don't want to uh, do multiple signups on Facebook uh, because of, uh, you know, obvious reasons. So I'll run the code till this only. I recommend you to run the last step once. Okay. I will do that till this. Okay. So let me uh, run this code. So here I'll create one object of this Facebook sign up let's say fs equal to new Facebook sign up then I'll say fs dot invoke browser then I'll say fs dot sign up so um, so this is the code let's execute it right click run as Java application So you can see uh, it's navigating to facebook.com first. Then it has started filling up the, all the details. See, uh, it has filled in uh, test user, user this. Okay, we have not entered, we have not given any re, uh, re enter the email address and it has not selected this gender. Let's see what happened. Okay, so, um, Let's first see why it has not selected the gender. Okay, the reason is we have not asked any operation here. So I can also call here, click, right? And then let's see why it has not uh, entered the re, uh, uh, re email, I mean, uh, what, how it, we can identify this. So uh, for that, we have one attribute called name attribute, right? So I can use that. So uh, just after filling in this, it will give me this option. I'll copy this confirmation name again. Okay, and send keys remains same. So now it should work, right? So right click, run as Java application. So you can see I've navigated to facebook.com. Now I'm entering all the details and it's working for me, right? So it has filled in the username, filled in the, uh, I mean, first name, last name, the email ID, confirmation email ID, then password. Then it has entered my date of birth and then uh, selected the mail radio button as well. So I'm not purposely clicked on sign up. If you, uh, to test this, you can do that. That's all in this assignment. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next assignment and next section, uh, next session.